maize and sorghum farmers in Kenya and other parts of Africa commonly experience poor yields in their crops as a result of stragaweed and stem borer. Striga is a purple flowering parasitic weed that depends on growing cereal crops for survival. By attaching itself to the roots of the maize and sorghum, Striga stunts the growth of the crops by sucking all the nutrients from the plants. Stem borer moths fly into the crop fields and lay their eggs on maize or sorghum leaves. The larvae from the moths attack the leaves and burrow into the young maize or sorghum crops, thus damaging the plants. Push-pull technology controls both stem borer and stragaweed by introducing desmodium and bracaria plants within the maize or sorghum plot. Desmodium is planted in between the rows of maize or sorghum and prevents the growth of stragaweed. It further acts as a repellent to the stem borer moths, push, causing them to leave the maize crops. Bracaria, on the other hand, attracts the stem borer moths, pool, which leave the maize crops and lay their eggs on the leaves where they eventually die. So, how do farmers go about planting and managing their push-pull plots effectively? This is Mary Rabilo. She has been practicing push-pull technology for many years. After a friend asked her for help, Mary accepted to show her all the steps required to plant and manage a successful push-pull plot. When preparing your land, ensure that you plow the field to find tilth. Large fields can be plowed using oxen. Push-pull technology should be carried out on plots measuring a maximum of 50 meters by 50 meters. In larger fields, establish a border row of bracaria after every 50 meters. The push-pull layout is carefully prepared as follows. Demarcate your push-pull plot to plant at least three rows of bracaria grass around the border. The spacing should be 75 centimeters between the rows. Next, plant the bracaria seeds at a spacing of 30 centimeters within each row. Before planting desmodium seed, you should mix one part desmodium seed with three parts of sand to ensure that you don't plant too many seeds in one spot. Thereafter, make your first desmodium furrow 75 centimeters from the inner row of bracaria. Drill desmodium seeds and cover with light soil. The following furrows of desmodium are made at 75 centimeters row to row distance. Now it is time to plant the maize between the rows of desmodium. Dig holes 30 centimeters away from each other and place one handful of farmyard manure in each hole. Mix the fertilizer with soil. Now plant two maize seeds per hole to ensure maximum germination throughout our plot. Timely weeding is important after successfully establishing your push-pull plot. You begin by weeding the maize crop. Because desmodium looks a lot like some weeds, Hand weeding is recommended at this stage to ensure you don't uproot the desmodium by mistake. Next, we shall thin the maize crops. Thinning, which involves removing one of the two maize plants growing per hole, should be done at this point. The bracaria grass should also be weeded. 
In newly established fields, it is important to top dress your maize. Make a furrow around each maize plant and apply one teaspoon of fertilizer in each furrow and cover with soil. Your maize is now five weeks old. At this stage, it is important to carry out second weeding. Weed the Bracaria carefully, not to leave other grasses growing together with it. Your crop is about to mature, so you can start harvesting Bracaria and Desmodium for use as livestock feed. When harvesting Bracaria, start with the inner row and harvest it all round. It is important to ensure that the field is constantly surrounded by a complete uncut row. Next, we will harvest Desmodium. Desmodium is rich in protein. Chop Bracaria and Desmodium. Mix one part Desmodium and three parts Bracaria before feeding it to your livestock. After harvesting our maize, the stovers can be cut and stored in a shaded place. These can be chopped and used as livestock feed during the dry season. Bracaria and Desmodium can also be harvested and stored as hay. When making hay, place three ropes at the bottom of a hay box and make sure the ends of the ropes are hanging out the sides of the box. Fill and compact the box with Bracaria or Desmodium. Tie the ends of the ropes tightly. Remove and store the bales in a shaded and protected area. After the first season of applying push-pull technology on your plot, the second season will be simple because Bracaria and Desmodium are perennial plants and do not need to be planted again. Cut back the desmodium and feed to livestock. As you do this, you may notice dry desmodium leaves that have fallen throughout your plot. Do not remove them as they act as mulch which conserves soil moisture. The leaves will also decay and improve fertility of the soil. Plow between the rows of desmodium, being careful not to disturb or uproot the desmodium plants. Using farmyard manure, plant maize in between the desmodium rows at a spacing of 30 centimeters between the plants. At three weeks, do the first weeding of maize. Hand weed and trim the desmodium to avoid any competition for nutrients between the maize and desmodium. Repeat this process in the fifth week and thereafter allow the desmodium to grow and form a canopy. Because of Isipe's push-pull technology, farmers such as Mary have succeeded in controlling striger and stem borer moths from invading their farms. Push-pull technology works on both maize and sorghum, so farmers can choose whichever crop they prefer to grow in different seasons. 
If push-pull technology is adapted well, it allows farmers to enjoy improved soil fertility, increased crop yields and reduced farm labor and access to quality livestock feeds. Plant push-pull for improved health of your soil, plants and animals.